Thanksgiving Day special. Billy Crocker. There's a new one. Betty Crocker, Billy Crocker. I like that. And I like to cook. Oh, that's a good one. Love your intensity when it comes to bringing something to the table on Thanksgiving. Absolutely no pun intended. It's it's really a no-brainer. Get good at making something and get to a point where you're automatic. Oh, he's talking about, yeah, like I was talking about a few weeks ago when Thanksgiving comes around, you got to have that dish that you just fucking can make and you throw down and you take it to another level. All right? Everybody else should be doing the same thing and then in the end, that's the Thanksgiving meal. Um, so this guy goes, yeah, you should, you should get a dish down to where you're automatic. How hard can it be? Uh, you'll, you'll never been... Ex- You'll never been, you've never been expected to step out of your skill set. If you're baking breads, no one will ever expect you to bring the cranberry sauce. Uh, what's your go-to this year? What's Nia's specialty? What's my go-to this year? How about the whole fucking meal? Dude, I'll tell you right now. You guys think I'm a fucking one-trick pony? I can make you a turkey dinner with stuffing, mashed potatoes. My gravy game is getting better. I got to work on my gravy game, and I know that's crucial, all right? But my fucking, uh, my mashed potatoes, not a fucking lump in them, all right? Enough butter to make you slide off the chair, Um, as they say in New Orleans. That's a bad New Orleans accent, I admit it. My stuffing, go fuck yourself, all right? Dude, you you don't understand the recipes that I have access to. All of my recipes start with melt a stick of butter and a third a cup of Crisco in a pan. <laughs> okay, so you know it's delicious. Um, yeah, my stuffing. Um, I don't know. My mashed potatoes are the shit, but Nia's African American, so she likes more sweet potatoes. So I don't. I don't think they uh, that side respects mashed potatoes the way they should. Okay, I feel like my potato. My my my. United Colors of Benetton, whatever the fuck it is, respect for, for sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes. I think I'm a little more uh, mature than the lovely Nia. Um, what's Nia's specialty? Uh, Nia's, uh, she's just great at everything. She's one of those people that I, I'll be out in the kitchen like, there's nothing to eat. What the fuck? I'm starving. And she'll be like, what do you mean there's nothing to eat? And she comes out there and next thing you know, she's got a couple things under her arms. And I don't know. I'm eating spaghetti, or I don't know what the fuck I'm eating. She somehow just throws it all together or makes some ridiculous omelet. Um, she's actually a, a true cook. I'm a little more robotic. I'm, um, I think I'm going to become a, a, a great cook or, or a better cook the way I became a better comedian, where at first I was a joke writer and I was trapped in my act, and then I learned how to improv. And she's kind of just watching her. She kind of, as she cooks, she's tasting it and doing all that type of stuff, where I just... They said to leave it in 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, and I take it out. Um, um, pies. I kind of got the whole thing, dude, from start to finish. My uh, my appetizer game is terrible. In fact, I don't even know if I know how to make one. I have no idea. But, dude, I can make a pie from fucking scratch, okay? I can look at you and tell you what all your fucking problems are as I'm making the pie crust and not even look down once. I can just feel the texture. You know what I'm saying? That's how many fucking pies I've made. All right? And I'll take that pie someday, and I'll bring it to your fucking house. All right? And I'll take a whole hunk of it, just and I'll just shove it right down your throat, and there's nothing that you're going to be able to say other than thank you for that experience. All right? As I'm shaking up the can of whipped cream to give you a facial. <laughs> <laughs> 